Yo, peep the scenery. Your boy's away from the office. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. I feel like I could sing to that song. BBL recently talking about sometimes when people cheat on you or if they do you wrong and then uh, one person commented and said oh so we waste being the best version of ourselves and on someone and then they cheat and I thought about that and I was like nah you didn't waste the best version of yourself you did exactly where you, what you're supposed to do and if you are being a good woman or a good man to keep another person faithful you're doing it wrong that's not how it works you cannot keep a man you can't keep a woman it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how much money you got, how great your sex is, how much you cook, how much you uh, pay for everything. It does not matter. You cannot keep a person that does not want to be kept. In my spiritual journey, I got to a place of releasing outcomes with people. I release the outcome. I don't, I'm not married to an outcome with anybody. I'm going to experience you however long this lasts. That could be two years or 20 years. It, it just depends on us. But I'm releasing the outcome. And that gives me freedom to just be. So I can genuinely be myself and I don't have to worry about the outcome. It's gonna be whatever it's gonna be. Sitting here trying to perform to keep a person, man, that's a short trip to a bad place. Swear. How many of you had that experience where you were extra good to somebody and they still left? So you being the best version of you is not for someone else. It is for you. I'm the best version of me for me. I feel great when I'm the best version of me. And I feel like hot garbage when I'm not. Mm. This concept of, of us wasting ourselves on someone, I, I, don't, I don't subscribe to that. No, I'm, if a person cannot receive uh, the goodness that I bring to the table, okay. Oh, that's just not my person. That's what that means. And I'm okay with that. I'm not mad at that person because they couldn't recognize me. Life is really different when you're able to release outcomes and then not get into relationships performing to keep the other person. Yo, for real, man. Forget the outcome. We're only worried about the income over here. You know what I find wild? That people will be infatuated with you and hate you at the same time. Like, they will closely watch and monitor your life or even get close to you. And what starts off as admiration turns into a secret obsession, which then leads to a bunch of hate, envy, and jealousy. And some would think that only celebrities and high profile individuals deal with this. It's not true. Like a person can be obsessively drawn to your personality, your style and the way that you dress, your looks, build or shape, your relationship or marriage or even just the way other people love and respect you. And they start to develop that hate energy because deep down, they wish they possessed those qualities themselves. And that pretty much turns them into a snake that's ready to strike any chance they get. It's funny because they'll literally tell the public or the people closest to y'all how cool you are, how dope you are, how close mm. y'all are. I swear. But in your absence, when your name is brung up in a positive light, their energy seem to shift towards the negative or you'll usually hear about some smart comment or foul remark that they made about you or the countless amounts of times that they've tried to sabotage different things that you've had going on and then try to hide their hand like they had nothing to do with it. And when you do approach them about something that they did, they either play stupid or they play dumb. And the craziest part about it all is that if you never cut them off, they will continue to be close to you and they will continue to obsessively watch and monitor your life. But yeah, stay aware of who's around you, who's in your inner circle, and always pay attention to what your gut is telling you about a person. And like always, let's go. Bro, sound like he was describing Drake. They didn't know what you carried. And they treated you like you were common. And God wanted them to treat you that way because he wanted you to see who they were. Because nothing exposes character more than the way you treat people you don't think you need. If you knew what I carried and what God was doing, you'd latch on. But God said, I'm going to hide you in plain sight to show you who your real crew is and who the fake ones are. If you are with someone that is not aware of their emotions, someone that doesn't have emotional intelligence, awareness, or regulation, 
get ready because you are going to live your life in a constant state of unnecessary stress, which leads to illness, which leads to disease. And most people don't understand the seriousness of this. Because if you are constantly in a space where your partner is triggered or angered or responsive or reactive or jealous or defensive, then what happens to you, you are getting a message very clearly and that message says, hey, psst, it is not safe for you to speak your truth. Because if and when you do speak your truth, you are going to get a reaction. And that reaction and that energy is going to cause you to quiet down and never speak your truth. Well, get ready because after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 years, your body is going to start to swell up with inflammation because the body is storing all of that energy that you've been afraid of letting go of. And by the way, take ownership of it because that fear is yours. That fear is yours. No matter how deep and dark and powerful their reaction is, you can still speak your truth. And yet the reality is, is as your body gets inflamed, you start opening your body up to unnecessary illness and disease. What other people yeah, think real. is their business and their problem. If you're concerned about what other people think, you're probably concerned with getting acceptance from those people, twisting yourself into some sophisticated knot to please them. That is an ugly way to live. You're better off being free. What other people think is their business, not yours. And if people like me, great. If they don't like me, great. Because either way, mm -hmm. it's their problem, not mine. You gotta take the good with the bad. You want to hear something fucked up about life? Life will allow you to fall head over heels for somebody who in turn falls head over heels for somebody else. Life will allow you to fall deeply in love with a person who in turn falls deeply in love with someone else. Life will allow you to think that you're chasing a person for the sake of love just to find out the reason they were running is because that they were chasing somebody else. A man who chases two rabbits often catches none. And here's a secret that I found out about life. In the process of chasing a person, we often lose ourselves. So in turn, we chase that person and we, then we chase the person who we used to be. <clears throat> A man who chases two rabbits often catches none. So in the process of chasing this person, you'll end up losing yourself. And when it's all said and done, you'll end up losing them. <clears throat> Yo, that's real right there. How many people do you know going through that right now? You know, chase somebody, got their heart broke. Want to find themselves, that ain't working either. Now they just lost. That's crazy, ain't it? Hey, y'all better listen to what Martin Luther said. Jesse, stop chasing them hoes. No disrespect to what y'all got going on. I've been trying to find good people for so long. I'm tired, bro. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sometimes, like, late nights, I just cry like a motherfucker. Um, like that's the honest to God truth. Like, you know, I'll be lying to you and tell you that I didn't have days where, you know, it just got extremely heavy. You know, you kind of just shut down, take a moment to yourself to kind of regroup. I mean, I'm trying to do my best, you know, and I, and I think the way to try to live up to everybody's perfect expectation of me has been really, really heavy for a long time. Mm -hmm. People really be going through it. You never really know. I feel like one of the best forms of love is to meet someone who isn't really where they want to be in life. And yet you still love them despite what they have or what their situation is. 
the fact that you didn't care about them having the most money or you didn't really care about them having the nicest car or the biggest house or even having the best career none of that really mattered to you all you cared about was were they a good person does this person have goals for themselves will this person be a positive addition to my life because it's easy to want somebody who's already a finished product oh they got the nicest house oh they got the nicest car they got a lot of money oh that's cool you can love me when i'm up but if i hit rock bottom are you gonna still love me the same and so if you can love somebody who is at rock bottom or somebody who is trying to get themselves to a better place i feel like that says a lot about you and that shows how genuine of a person you really are and i really believe that that's one of the biggest forms of love is when you can love somebody who isn't really where they want to be just yet For somebody to love you stick by your side and to care about you despite your situation and that shit a blessing yo for real y'all y'all need to go play uh 50 cent 21 questions are some signs that a person has secret animosity towards you or they are threatened by you i turn this into a series so here's part one when they don't acknowledge you the people who pull this stunt i like to call them the helen killers because they will act as if they can't see or hear you mm -hmm. whenever they enter the room and there are other people in the room including you they will speak to greet and acknowledge everyone except you even if they enter the room and you're the only person in the room They'll act as if they don't see you, as if you don't exist, as if you're not there. Oh, they see you, they see you. Or let's just say it's a group setting and you guys are having a group conversation. Everyone is talking, but it's your turn to talk. Or you act like they don't hear you, they won't acknowledge you at all. They either won't acknowledge you or they'll dismiss you. Or they'll try to dismiss what you're saying. They may even go out of their way to turn their head when you speak. Turn their back, roll their eyes, cough, yawn, or do something to try to get the attention off of you and back onto them. They even interrupt and cut you off. Or they may even leave the room. They also won't make eye contact with you. Their whole goal is to make you feel as if you were invisible, as if you don't exist. To make you feel unwelcomed, unwanted. Purposely leave you out and won't include you. They want you to feel alone as if you don't matter. But the truth is, you do matter. And your light is so bright that it triggers their insecurities. You have an anointing on you that irritates their inner demons. They have hidden animosity towards you and they are secretly intimidated by you. They are threatened. They pull this kind of stunt. They think they're bothering you. But in fact, what they're really showing is how miserable they are. They're really showing how bothered and threatened they are by you. Presence in your light. Don't let the bother bother you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's so much hate and animosity that goes on between women. I don't know who Man. needs to hear this, but do not worry. You heard me. Do not worry. Don't do it. Did you know that is a command from God? Yep. That wasn't an option. That was an order from our Heavenly Father. Do not worry do not worry about what you will eat what you will drink what you will wear is life not more than food and the body more than clothing I love the part where he says where jesus said by the way look at the birds in the air they neither sow nor reap and your heavenly father feeds them how much more value are you than they mm. how much more valuable are we than the birds y'all do not worry don't do it don't do it and the minute you just take a deep breath and you're just like okay Abba okay I trust you okay Jesus I trust you you know, and he says to cast all your burdens on him, cast all your worries on him, for he cares for you. And he does. He does. And out of nowhere, guys, once you completely surrender 
all of your worries to him. He says, seek first the kingdom and everything else will be added unto you. I am a witness to that. That is so true. So true. <sighs> I cannot explain to you how he just out of nowhere provides, 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 provides. And all I had to do was focus on Jesus. Seek first the kingdom and give everything else to him. So do not worry. All right. Don't do it. Hey, man, I truly believe that Jesus, the Christ is within us all. And to give yourself to Jesus is to give yourself to yourself. You know, like you can't be negative and, and give yourself to yourself. No, you're tearing yourself down at that point. You have to be thinking positive thoughts. You have to literally live for yourself, you know, positively, not in a negative way. most dangerous person you can have around you is a person who has secret animosity towards you. Like, what's that in your heart to be able to have that much ill will towards somebody? That much hate or that much jealousy towards someone? They give the most backhanded compliments, backhanded congratulations, and you just never really know what their heart's intent. If you failed, that person would be able to sleep good at night. If something happened to you, they would probably silently celebrate your downfall or your failure. That secret animosity is devious. What makes it even more dangerous is that the person who has secret animosity towards you will usually try to get close to you. They will usually try to pretend that they're your friend. They'll have that dagger just waiting to stab you in your back, mm. waiting to corrupt whatever it is that you built. And that's sad. That's that blow you never see coming. I don't understand it. It's too much love in this world to receive and it's too much love to give. If you just hate a person simply because they're successful or because they have something great about themselves or they have a gift or you see their value, if you just simply hate a person for that, they ain't did nothing to you. That screams self-hate. That screams self-love. A friend or family People just evil. who becomes an enemy after a little misunderstanding has been an enemy the whole time. They were just pretending. So if you know you got friends, you got family out there, y'all know y'all got into a confrontation and you were just speaking your truth and they took it all overboard, threatening you, calling y'all out your name, just taking it way too far, acting like they just hate you throughout that mix. Watch out for those. Yeah. Because they got a secret hate to you. They really don't like you. It's just something they need from you. They just using you. You got to watch out for those kind of people. They out there. So pay attention to those small arguments. Especially, you know, you speaking your truth. Just being honest. Still showing love to that individual. While you conversating through anger. But it's still ways you still show love. And get it off in a different kind of tone where you're angry. So I do understand that. But they take it way too far. And you like, dang, what you really, you know what I'm saying? If you know in your heart they doing a little too much, you might want to take that step back. Relax a minute. Distance yourself. Pay attention to these small signs. I'm just going to let you know I'm going to keep remaining, doing the same, informing y'all how things going out here. You're going to want to go. Yeah, everyone loves differently, though. Everyone's on different emotional levels, you know what I mean? So. Like he said, the best thing is probably to just fall back a little bit. You know what? You acting a little too funny. It's, I see this really, really messing with you. I'm going to just take a step back and let you figure this out. I'll still be here whenever you get it figured out, if you ever do. Go ahead and add this one to your favorites. You might want to come back to it. Check this out. Once you understand the power of your words, you won't just say anything. Once you understand the power of your thoughts, you won't just think anything. But once you understand the power of your presence, you won't just be anywhere. Think about that. Keep mm. doing what you're doing. We are all being judged by someone who isn't even close to having their stuff together. Yo, very true. Sometimes no answer is the answer that you need. You out here looking for a sign, looking for clarity and closure when God already gave you the answer that you needed. You just too stubborn to accept it. Sometimes you got to accept what God allows and keep it pushing. Now take that and apply it as needed. Mm. Keep it pushing. One of the worst things you can do is try to change someone who doesn't see a problem with their own actions. That's where you're going wrong. They don't see nothing they doing is wrong. 
So that's over here driving you crazy. And you trying to explain yourself. You trying to get your point across. You trying to get them. Hey, for real, y'all think an evil person really thinks that they're evil? What? They probably think they're, they're the best, most righteous person out there. And they're doing the best, most righteous thing possible. But in our minds, that's evil. You don't understand. That ain't doing nothing but bringing stress upon you. You got to quit that. If they don't see a problem with their own actions, you got to let that go. That mean they love what they're doing. And especially if it's hurting you, causing harm to you, frustration to you, stress to you, worrying to you, anxiety to you, you have to let that go. You got to learn to move forward from certain things that you can't change. Got to learn to let it go. One thing that I understood about life, I never try to change anybody. I just try to change the way I react to it. That helped me out a whole lot. Facts. Growing up, I used to wonder why people were always so mean to me, would bully me, would talk about me, would just want to put me down and hurt my feelings. And even as an adult with my family, my friends, weird random people would just want to make me feel less of myself. And I saw a video and said they envy you and it all caught my attention. I'm like, oh, okay, probably my for you page, I guess it's for me. And he said, it's not the car you drive. It's not the money you have. It's not anything. It's what you possess in your soul that they know they can never fucking have. And maturing, going through an awakening, I've realized that's why. <laughs> it's always been what I couldn't see. It's what they saw that they knew for a fact I could not fucking see and I didn't see. The fact that I'm so caring, I'm so beautiful, I'm a fucking light. I light up every room I walk in. Everybody loves me any and everywhere I go. And I could go on and on. I'm just not going to do that because that's not my point of the video. But don't try to make sense of what other people are doing to you, how other people treat you. It's not you. They're mad as fuck because they want to be you and they can't be you. They can't go to Walmart, Sears, whatever the fucking store case may be. And by what your soul possesses, what God in the universe has blessed you to be capable of doing. And, and, and the way that others love you, the way you just light up a room, the way that everywhere you go, they're like, damn, who the fuck is that? You can't buy that. You can't order that off Shein. You can't order that off Amazon. Baby, that is God given. Don't let a bully, an insecure family member, a jealous ass friend, any count for fucking nation. Don't let anybody on this earth, no matter who. I gotta stop reading the captions before they talk because the captions just said all the wrong words. I'm like, what? They are what they are, their status, their title, whatever the case may be, make you feel less of yourself because they feel less of their self because they don't possess what you do. They don't hold the way that you do on this earth because they, they don't light up a room the same way you do. That ain't got shit to do with you. Keep shining. Because what Jesus say? Baby in the dark, I'ma shine bright as a motherfucker. Keep shining bright. Keep shining your lights on them dark spirits and dark souls. The world needs more light. The world doesn't need any more darkness. They want to dim your light down because shit. Oh, yeah. You are that sun on, to me right now. And they don't like that because they're not like that. And don't know why they, you know, hate you the way they do. But who the fuck cares? It's not your problem, baby. <laughs> Shit. You see, the way I look, I don't look like this in public. I have wigs on, mascara, different clothes. This is me. It's five, six days a week. Outside the one day I go to work. I don't look like this. And I still get the looks. I still get the... Bitch, I'm bald head as hell, okay? With some bleached ass hair. And I still get the looks. It's not what this looks like. It's not what this looks like. It's not anything else but the soul I possess, the light I possess, the way that I just, hey, how you doing? Mm hmm I don't care what you look at me like. I don't care how you treat me. I hope you have an amazing day. I have friends out here still hating me. I got family out here hating me. I send you the uttermost love. I could never. I could never just send off dark energy. Why? Why? Life is hard as it is anyway. It's hard enough as it is anyway.
Why would I make your life harder because I feel some type of way? Which I don't, personally. I'm just saying. Why would I want to transmute dark energy that I feel in the inside to you? And I know it's hard over here. Mm, might be hard on your end, too. So why would I want to make you feel any worse than you already do or you possibly could feel? That's because they're, they're, they're fucked up, okay? And that's not your concern. That's not your problem. That's a them problem. But you keep healing. You keep doing what you're doing. You keep being the light that God designed you to be. Don't worry about these weird-ass people. It, trust me. They think that you're weak. They think that you're not capable of blocking out their weird ass. Girl, fuck them. Girl, boy, whoever see this. Girl, fuck their weird ass, okay? You can't get mad because you the a yellow light bulb and I'm a white one. Get your weird ass on, okay? <laughs> I just felt the need to say that. So hopefully this message reach, reaches who it's supposed to. I love you guys. Wishing the uttermost love and happiness and light on you on you guys' life. Bye. Answer me this question, y'all. Why is there so much hate and animosity amongst women? There might be some against men. It's just not out there as much. Uh, yeah, you won't see that as much. But women, they openly do it and hate on another woman for absolutely no reason. Right? Not even know the girl. I don't know the reason. And most women seem to not know the reason either. So, do y'all know the reason? Let me know down below. The only reason I took it so personal, because what you've done to me... I would have never done to you. And that hurt my feelings. But see, I had to learn emotional intelligence, learning how to control my emotions and my feelings towards people. Because people talk can really dictate your actions or how you react to certain things. And I couldn't allow that anymore. I had to set my boundaries. And why I set my boundaries played a big factor on who I was and how I reacted to things. Because if they stepped across my boundaries, that let me know that at the end of the day, they didn't care about what I had going on in the first place. See, it was little things that I had to teach myself in order not to take things so personal so I can allow people to get into my feelings. And then when they get in my feelings, they have type of this controlled mechanism of a person when you allow them to get into your emotions and feelings. And I couldn't allow it anymore. So I didn't want to take things so personal no more. I didn't let people's words dictate who I am as a character. So I learned to come and stay in a peaceful state of mind on purpose. And there's certain things you just have to do in this world. So learn not to take things so personal. Learn emotional intelligence. Learn people just talk just to get under your skin for no reason. Don't fall for these tactics. Keep that peace within yourself. And don't let nobody take that away from you. Facts. If you ain't demanding your worth and your value at this point in your life, then what are you really doing? There is no more time for letting people come in and out of your life and treat you how they want to treat you and run over you and mishandle your heart. You got a heart of gold and it's time to guard that. It's time that you know your worth and stand on that. Because if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Don't be gullible. Mm. Symbolism will be their downfall. Or is it just art? And let me be the first to tell you, mm. it's all connected. I mean, if you know, you know. But first, let's go back to that video of Ellen DeGeneres. When the camera turns, you can see the inside of her house. Now, see that picture right there? Well, if you pause it and look it up, it says evil thoughts with revenge right next mm. to it. Here's another picture of Ellen in her house. And this is the picture behind her. Now, the thing I'm curious about is the letters on top of the picture. These look oddly similar to the letters Marina Abramovich writes out when she does spirit cooking. Remember the beginning of the video? It's all connected. And that person that was in all red is Lady Gaga. And she went to Marina Abramovich many times for teaching. But let's continue. This is another picture of Ellen in her home. She's cutting her mother's hair, but what is that picture above her head? Yo, what's going on with those pictures and the Basquiat's and all of that, man? Mm, something deeper behind it? Even your voice is not the same as what I remember. Like, just hearing you now, this, see, this is you, isn't it? Yeah, this is my real voice. That was just a character I was playing. <laughs> just think that for a long time people have misunderstood and underestimated me, but I can understand playing that character. Of course, they were going to assume otherwise, but I'm not a dumb blonde. I'm just very good at pretending to be one. Very good at pretending to be one. Pretending to be a human as well, huh?
It's a lot of stuff up in there. So, somebody was lying there, but, you know, clearly it wasn't Kendrick. Man, the whole industry be on these drugs and stuff, man. Adderall, things like that. No wonder they be up and going crazy. So, Molly Obama is starting her new career in Hollywood and decided to separate herself from the family by changing her name. And everyone's saying the same thing. Yeah, she's joining Hollywood because she's been acting this whole time. We all know whose kids are Miz, man. Look at this. Spitting image. She did what she had to do. She had to act like she was in the family. Mm. She's like her sister. To fool all y'all. To make it look like a big happy family. And then once the terms were over, <laughs> the terms were over. <laughs> that contract was expired. <laughs> she got a Harvard degree and dipped. And now she's changing her name back to the original. See, people don't realize this is all propaganda. They don't trick everybody, fool to everybody. Come on now. When's the last time you seen Obama, Michelle, and all the kids all together, all at one time? Yeah, I know. They going to college, whatever. But come on. They can at least be one time. Hmm. I never really looked into that. Y'all know, is there any, like, one occasion that we've seen them together? Dang, was it all propaganda? Is that not even a real family? Does this look like a woman to you? Why is there even a conspiracy mm. theory about this? Google is free, and you can literally search up who is the woman in the Statue of Liberty. The woman in the Statue of Liberty is a Roman goddess named Libertas. Named Julius. Caesar. <laughs> Some shit like that. Why would Lucifer be the statue of liberty? Lucifer has nothing to do with liberty at all. Isn't Lucifer the bearer of light? What's the statue of liberty holding? It wouldn't even make sense to include him. Before we start making these abstract conspiracy theories because we're bored and don't have a job, which you should get, by the way, we should use Google or Safari, or Firefox, or literally any searching browser. Not everything needs to be a theory, right? Like some things can just be things and they don't have to have this deeper meaning behind it. Lu <laughs> Man, bro need to stay off Google, off Firefox. You feel me? Come on. Lucifer is actually the complete opposite of Liberty. And for him to be represented as the Statue of Liberty wouldn't even make sense. I know I just said that, but I need to say that again. Well, it looks like a painting in the 1700s. So? <laughs> yeah, my mans need to stay off the internet for a little bit. Okay, what is the Vatican doing? So they are preparing guidelines for apparitions and other supernatural phenomena. Now, for those who do not know, an apparition refers to an instance in which a divine entity, such as a saint, the Virgin Mary, or Christ himself makes itself known to a person on earth we have the vatican declaring this guideline to be published on may 17th now this date stuck out to me for a couple of reasons because this date on may 17th is one day before may 18th and may 18th is 40 days after the great american solar eclipse so mm. april 8th that is when the solar eclipse happened 40 days later is may 18th it's just a weird coincidence that homer in the episode about him predicting the rapture predicts it to be on may 18th we also have the fake wow. pentecost happening a day after on may 19th i am not telling you something is going to happen on one of these days i am sure nothing is going to happen because i can see the comments now nothing happened nothing ever happened i'm not telling you something is going to happen i am just pointing out weird coincidences that i see okay why is the vatican declaring this on May 17th. Why is it published on May 17th? And that is, again, just perfect timing. 40 days, 40 days after the solar eclipse, right before Pentecost. Again, we will have to wait and see what happens, but just weird times that we live in, guys. And I'm just bringing up these things to you, to your attention. You can take it to the Lord. You can think it's all silly, and that is fine. That's totally fine. We can all believe what we want, but I, for one, would recommend focusing your eyes upon the Lord 
asking him for all discernment during these crazy times that we live in. So with that, guys, love you all so much. God bless and remember, the just shall live by faith. Yo, what's going on on the 17th? That's tomorrow. <laughs> dinosaurs were around a lot earlier than we think. I don't think they died 100 million years ago. I think we were around while the dinosaurs were around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the pyramids were also in place for when the meteor hit or any natural disaster. People were able to stay in there to survive because when the meteor hit, mm -hmm. all the dinosaurs, yeah. why didn't the humans die? If there were humans around back then, they say they weren't because there's nowhere to stay. That'd be like a bunker. Yeah. All pyramids, like whether it's in Antarctica, Mexico, Egypt, Europe, they've sustained every natural disaster. Yeah, yeah, they never fell. It would make sense for that to store humans so we can survive. Ah, like there were some humans that lived. Whatever dinosaurs, humans stayed in the pyramids. Ooh, that kind of that kind of hard. And we were around while dinosaurs were around, and we knew how to tame them. That's why our technology was even better. You know, I'm just saying know, it hit different. I get what you mean because you know, there's a lot of pictures of like ancient China and ancient like mm -hmm. Asia, and they have like dinosaurs in the background. Like mm -hmm. in the paintings, and they're like carrying stuff, and they're like nobody ever knows it. No one's like, yeah, what does it mean? Yeah. Hmm. Do y'all believe in dinosaurs? Were they real? Did we walk amongst them? Let me know. Yo. So that's lightning coming from the volcano. No, that's crazy. When is the uh, collapse, ah. the dimensional collapse, starting? Is it already starting? It's already started. The sound and the color? Okay. It's already, it's already started. Thank you for being here. Um, what you're going to start hearing about in the ne next near, in the very near future are something called rods. And they will be something that will be videotaped. Um, and what they will be, what you will see are large streaks of shooting through the air that are etheric, but are being able to be captured on tape. And what you're seeing is literally fourth and fifth dimensional craft mm. moving through space, not having the slightest clue that they're flying right through us. Okay? And that's because you're beginning to see the implosion. It's great stuff. Um, and ghosts. <laughs> Yes, you'll see more ghosts, more apparitions, because those that are stuck between third and fourth density will start being more and more visible as our frequency starts to raise and rise. Uh, a lot of them, unless they are healed, and I do not know how to do that, how to set them free from their self-imposed prisons, um, will be exiting, transitioning. Um, angels, folks, be very careful. Uh, <laughs> about somebody who tells you they're an angel. For example, uh, I've asked about the archangels. And the Andromedan perspective of that is, is that the archangel Michael was literally a fleet of craft that were called Mikael. That was the name of the fleet. And they used to the elves. the northern hemisphere of the planet. Y'all ever heard of the elves? You know, Michael, the name ends in L. There, uh, you know, there's a story about y'all got to look into it. Just look into the L's. When Orion was here in full force, Gabriel was the name of another fleet of craft, and so on and so forth. It has been changed and created into something that will save you and rescue you, when in fact that was not the original intent at all. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen in the next 10 years? Um, I, I will share this with you. Um, there are definitely some things underneath the Sphinx that the bulk of the real stuff that will tell us about our ancient history is still underneath the pyramid. And there are, there were a, there was a vault built three levels deep. The pyramid was built over it. All right. So my thing with this, right? with you know them him saying everything's under the sphinx or the pyramid right that's just one pyramid in egypt what about the other pyramids that we haven't excavated you know what's underneath there there's other things that we haven't even looked at 
even here in North America. We haven't excavated a lot of land here. If you want to know about our history, when we start excavating things, I don't think they really want to know what the true history is. Okay, that's where the real juice is. That's where the real Or they don't want is. us to know. Um, the Sphinx will have some things, but it's a distraction. Yeah, these guys are good at what they do. At diverting attention from reality, from truth. They're excellent at it. If they put that much energy into telling the truth, God, we'd all be out of here. You know? Um, okay, hold on one second. I don't have it somewhere. Okay, things that are going to happen in the next 10 years. Number one, we're going to truly find out who we are genetically. Um, information will be coming from all corners of the earth from contactees. There will be more and more contacts, and they will tell us about the 22 different races and more of our history. There will also be massive earth changes. They will start with a magnetic pole shift which could happen any time between now and the year 2001. Things have been sped up. Um, we're already starting to see the magnetic pole ship as we see birds migrate in the wrong direction at the wrong times of the year. The birds move along the Earth's magnetic grid lines. And I wanted to share something with you. I'm very fascinated with the Native Americans. And uh, I love to collect feathers when I find them on my on my journeys and my uh, vision quests. And I was given this on 319 of 94, and I just want to share this with you. It's primarily about the Native Americans and the original intent behind them wearing the feather. In the ancient way, your native red American races understood the nature of the birds. They, the, the birds are very sensitive to magnetic fields and microwave energy, as you call it. They will migrate along the Earth energy grids, and their wings, which are made up primarily of feathers, were to be watched as they were very sensitive. To watch and follow the birds is to know which way the Earth's magnetic flows are moving. They would also, the Native American races, camp off these magnetic flows because the radiation would become harmful in time. The feathers are very sensitive to energy fields and magnetic fields. They are, in fact, an antenna. The feather would attract telepathic communication with all the tribe. As the chief would think or quietly discuss plans, the rest of the tribe would, in the ancient days, receive the message with few or no words. Mm. That's dope. Okay, what is that though? CGI or UAP? The ancient Piazza Bird Miro in the Mississippi. Native American lore. Its name in the Alini language means the bird that devours men. It was known for snatching deer, grown men, and even children to eat. So frightened were the local people of this monster that they created a giant pictograph on a riverside cliff face to warn others away from where it was frequently sighted. It was described as a winged monster with horns like a deer, red eyes, a beard like a tiger's, a face like a man, the body covered with green, red, and black scales, and a tail so long it passed around the body, over the head, and between the legs. In 1673, a group of French Mississippi River explorers came across it and noted how high and impossible to reach the image itself was. Carved and painted into a limestone cliff high above their heads, they had trouble believing that the Indians had actually put it there, much less at the size and brilliant colors that it was. It was an explicit warning to any who took their boats any further. But, by 1699, the image was riddled with gunshot holes, as passing natives would shoot at the image as they passed it by. It was eventually destroyed entirely, as a quarrying company purchased the land and blasted it away. 
Wow. You know, that's probably what a lot of these queries do, or requires, or however you say it. That's probably what they're doing. They're probably just getting rid of uh, whatever that they need to get rid of so that no one can question history anymore. Is this a Mesoamerican Sphinx? Looks like it. We know the truth now. Hmm. What y'all think? I think there's sphinxes all over the world. This could definitely be one of them. Okay, that's some good zoom. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Man, I wish I could just see what the old world was like. Get your ass in here and sit down. We sitting down. Baby. The masks are in full effect. Mask on. These damn celebrities y'all out here worshiping. That ain't even them people. And I'm yeah. about to prove it to you. No celebrity in particular. But I'm going to show you what, what's really going on. Because, see, y'all call us crazy. Y'all think we crazy. We conspiracy theorists. Um, we ain't got nothing better to do with our time. We jealous, we haters, whatever. Wake up. You done slept long damn enough. Wake up. Now, this first clip <laughs> is an obvious weird-ass facelift procedure. She getting it done awake. But this second one, gonna blow your wig back. Roll the footage. I wish I had one to get blue back. Shout out to the chrome dome. And it's the face little. What is this? He up under her skin? And she awake? Mm -mm. Let me just put your, your mask on a little tighter. Mm -mm. Starting to droop a little bit. See what I'm Starting to look about? old. Mm -mm. Uh, what is this one? What? No, don't take my mask off. Stop. Look, you messed my mask up, Tommy. They're going to tell. Oh, my goodness. Stop it. They're going to find out. That's crazy, man. People really got masks on out here. That skin stuff is weird.
What's coming from Bouvet Island, huh? times we at end times hmm some crazy stuff though Oh, 
that's March. What? Oh my God! I have never, ever in my life seen anything this creepy. Oh no. Nah. There must be a dead fish in there. I don't know, but oh, there's one over in the house. There. And they are blocking access. Look at that, yo. Check this. Y'all see these birds? Right. This is literally a sign. This is an omen. What are they telling us? Check it out. She says that there must be a dead fish. Ain't no bird does this over no dead fish, especially if they're not over the prey. They're like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ain't nobody getting in the club right now. <laughs> the birds are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing, mm. just like this Egyptian falcon is doing. Got their wings up. You see, the wings are all colors, right? All these different type of colors, meaning getting these these rays, these sun rays. As you can see in the talons, it got the unk on its talons, right? Because it's catching them, handing them at the same time. Because got the the red sun in its talon, the red sun on top as well. I believe these birds are sending us some messages because animals communicate with us through these messages. We just don't understand what they mean because we have lost our method of communicating with these animals. And in order to understand what they're saying again, we must look at these signs and the symbols and try to understand or decipher what they mean. So I'm just sharing information with you guys. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. You already know what to do, y'all. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. Mm, what's going on with the birds, man? Look. Antarctica is the only continent without a native population. That means that anyone who lives or visits Antarctica is considered an alien. You see that? Mm -hmm. Do you see that? That's funny. That's funny because <laughs> you already know what I do. This is a map. I'm gonna get out the way you screenshot this map. Take y'all screenshots if y'all want to. Check out this map. What's it say? The Chinese sail upon this ocean. What y'all think, man? They got all type of maps where there's people down in Antarctica, right? And it doesn't show it as ice in a lot of these maps either. Y'all screenshot that map. It's a very important map. I'm going to zoom down into that map for you. Don't you worry about it. Because <clears throat> I, I could have swore. Put a two in the chat if you're new here. Because I, I, I do stuff. I'm about to show you what I do. You just said. I know I just heard you say. That Antarctica didn't have nobody on it. Right? Didn't they say that? Put a two if that's what they said. Put a two. Put a two if they just said that Antarctica didn't have no buy on it. But right here on this map, it shows you clearly. Clearly. Look. And Terra Antarctica. Where be savages, savage men who worship devils you see that that's code speak for we're allowed to genocide mm -hmm. that's basically what that means basically they had another one talking about much gold also they eat men now nah, they just want to have a reason to come genocide them and take the gold A lot of people claim to be conspiracy theorists, and a lot of people claim to chase conspiracies and chase the truth. But you can't chase the truth home on your butt. You gotta actually get out there and chase it. Check this out. See that thing right there? I think that's a ruin. See the face? See the headdress? You can't see my finger. There's a face right there, dude, with the headdress. And it looks like a pair of legs. And I'm gonna come back with my shovel. Mm. I'm gonna start digging it out. That's how you chase conspiracy.
conspiracies. Please check out my ruin. Okay. That's a ruin. That's a face. That's a headdress. Chase your fucking concern. Uh, chase your fucking conspiracies. I'm about to give me a shovel and start excavating a golf course. El cielo está lleno de estas esferas y objetos. What is Solo this? No Look at all the lights in the sky, floating orbs. That was like a floating star. All right, so I don't want to scare the 54 percenters, but this is like the fifth time this has happened. And now I'm starting to think like maybe I wasn't too hasty in my jumping the gun of what the fuck is going on. Because this blob, this anomaly that appeared in Antarctica, look how fucking huge it is, right? You see how big that fucking thing is? Well, this thing appeared in February, and it was a glitch, they said, in March. It was a glitch, they said. April 9th, a glitch. April 25th, a glitch. And now another fucking glitch. Why are there so many fucking glitches? Can someone explain that? Hmm. Please, I'm gonna go live if you have any clue about what the fuck this is. And I, I want some serious fucking folks in here. I want like knowledgeable people, not, you know, people like me who have no fucking clue. While many of you are blocking celebrities for what happened at the Met Gala, not a lot of you are talking about the theme behind the Met Gala, the garden theme, or more specifically, the Garden of Time by J.G. Ballard. And this was first brought to my attention by another content creator on the platform. I reposted their video you can find on my page. They explain it very beautifully. But I want to go over very briefly, shortly, what the Garden of Time was. And by explaining that, you'll understand why the elites are sort of throwing things in your face. They see the writings, the pictures, and the paintings on the wall. And it's a very short story you can find online yourself. Essentially, we have two very wealthy and rich people that live in a villa by themselves, overlooking an entire horizon and plain of beautiful nothingness. And in that villa, underneath their terrace, is a garden. A garden of crystal roses. These crystal roses are about two meters in height, completely clear and have a diamond on the inside. And they're roses or, or flowers of time. Each time you pluck one, time goes backwards. Your man notices that over time there's a crowd of angry mob of people over the horizon getting closer and closer. So he goes ahead and plucks a flower every time one of these mobs or they get closer. And he receives them and pushes them back. But the garden is dying. There aren't that many more flowers. None at all, and specifically about a dozen. And he tries to put this brave facade of being a brave warrior and a soldier for his woman, but he knows that his time is ending. And the flowers are getting smaller, and the time is getting less. And in the story, it's painted out that they are sort of the victims here. And the mob is zombified, empty, mobless parasites that hoard and kill everything along their way. And the story ends with the... I won't tell you the ending. I want you to go ahead and read the story. It's very interesting and very good. What I will say is that every time they pluck a flower, time resets. There is a great reset in works. The elites, the powers that mm -hmm. had control over time have lost their power. And now they are seeking to reset everything because the mass is enclosing on their villa. And they'll be damned if anybody gets anything of theirs. I knew Very Drake true. was fucking lying, bro. I fucking said it. And like I said in that one video when I said Kendrick made Euphoria and made emphasis on master manipulator, he said it twice. And I thought that was weird. I'm like, Kendrick don't really repeat the same shit twice. But he said, we know you were master manipulator. Master manipulator. And this nigga lied about a, somebody getting shot. Somebody is really hurt that he's supposed to be close with. I... <laughs> First off, I'm mind blown because I definitely called that shit out. And I'm mind blown because the shit that Kendrick said in Euphoria really is coming to light. Like I said, it fucking would. God damn. Drake, he's not street smart at all either. That's what I said, bro. I said that shit. You guys were like, it was the weekend. No. That shit was way too fucking obvious. It was way too hot for anybody to make moves. And anybody who has any type of street smarts or criminal mind smarts knows that fucking shooting someone in the middle of a worldwide beef right now 
is dumb as fuck. You don't think people are going to investigate? Multiple people, not just the police who you can pay off. Actual investigators are... are I can't even sip it, y'all. I'm, you know I, I suck at talking anyway, but I'm just befuddled. I am flabbergasted. I am at a loss of words. BBL Drizzy, then messed up again. So y'all excuse the spoon in my hand. I'm about to make me some coffee, but I got some shit to say. First and foremost, this little goofy ass motherfucking demon face syndrome they got going on. First of all, who the fuck are they trying to all uh, fool? Really? Who the fuck are they trying to motherfucking fool? The foolish. Because it's funny how all of a sudden people are actually seeing this shit and this weird as fuck how everybody is that's coming forth and saying, oh, I'm seeing this. Oh, I'm seeing that. And they all describing this motherfucker the exact same fucking way. But then our goofy ass motherfucking government want to turn around and say, oh, they got demon face syndrome, bitch. <laughs> Did we have demon face syndrome back in 2020? No. Did we have demon syndrome last year? No. So you mean to tell me what people are seeing with their actual eyes Y'all think it's a demon face? No, 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 no. I'm going to tell y'all what the fuck y'all did. Because y'all going to look at this video and be like, oh, she goofy as hell. And then, no, 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 no. Let me explain to y'all what the fuck y'all did. What the fuck y'all did was y'all fucked around with them goofy ass fucking portals. Y'all done opened up a motherfucking universe that done split. And then that motherfucker started into, into our motherfucking universe. And now people are seeing shit that they ain't supposed to be motherfucking seeing. So make long story short, the government done fucked up. And now y'all want to blame it on a goofy ass demon syndrome. So motherfuckers has been videotaping and then every time they videotape or re they record the shit or they take a picture of it, they take it down. Why? Mm. Because uh, if they have demon face syndrome, how do you explain the picture in the video? So do the camera phone mm. have demon face syndrome too? <laughs> Miss me with the bullshit. What y'all did was y'all fucked up with that old goofy ass iron shit. Y'all don't fuck with the fucking out of space motherfuckers. Now them motherfuckers are spilling over here. Y'all can miss me with the bullshit. Like, uh-uh, that ain't no motherfucking. Oh, it's a demon face syndrome. How the fuck? Okay, look. Let me make this abundantly motherfucking clear. Let me see some shit like that. Y'all know good and goddamn motherfucking well I ain't got that motherfucking shit. <laughs> Demon face syndrome my ass. No, y'all fucked up and y'all done released some shit. Real talk. And now people are seeing this shit and y'all don't know how to fuck to handle this shit. Miss me with it. Or any of it matters, but I am going to be boycotting TikTok. The and I know it makes no sense, like I'm just one person, right? But I, it, it's getting to the point where it's ridiculous. You cannot speak truth, even if it's truth, because it goes against their very nature. And it could be because of who the creator of TikTok is and how they assume that they can control people, but um, not I. So if you're a Christian, if you are somebody who has moral compass and you see what's going on and all the people that are being silenced for speaking out the truth on the depravity of, of society and the immorality and how so many innocents are being taken, then I would suggest you stop using them. Go somewhere else, go to Instagram, go to Facebook. All of them are evil, but I have not seen the amount of censorship that I have seen like I see on TikTok. When it comes to Christianity and speaking for what's right, they are 100% advocating for everything that we speak out against. And I know because my videos that I know are factual because I researched them are getting taken down and labeled as misinformation <laughs> when audio or proof can be easily found in, and is right there. So I'm completely done with TikTok. I've got hundreds of videos speaking on God. They have circulated. They're out there. My, my job is done, but I am not partaking in the enemy's game anymore. TikTok is censoring Christians. They're eliminating free speech. And they are not a platform that I want to be associated with any longer. Dang.
What y'all think about the censorship on TikTok? Oh, whoa. Did y'all see that? I'll tell you what that is, Michael. That's Dementors. Dementors. Did y'all see the Dementors? That was crazy. The Book of Enoch explained a group of mysterious creatures that fallen angels created. Today, that's what we'll be covering in the Book of Enoch. You see, the Nephilim giants are not the only hybrid beings that were created. There were also mysterious crossbreeds between animals and humans. Let me explain. The Book of Enoch mentions how the 200 Watchers experimented on humans and animals to create monstrous hybrid beings. The book mm. reads, The 200 angels choose animals on which to perform unnatural acts, including presumably humans. 200 donkeys, 200 rams, 200 goats, 200 beasts. From every animal, from every bird for miscegenation. The outcome of the demonic corruption was violence, perversion, and a brood of monstrous beings. They defiled, they begot giants and monsters. Now, as we can see, the book of Enoch referred to giants and monsters, meaning there were several different hybrids created during this time. But I really want to point out what it means when these angels gathered these animals for miscegenation. This means there was some sort of reproductive process conducted by the fallen angels, and they used animal and human DNA to accomplish their experiments. Yo. It's crazy. Man. Them twisters, man. Simpsons know everything. What's that? Is it a cross? Heck no, it's not a cross. What is that? Like a. Dude, it looks like a dude in a suit. I swear. It looks like Iron Man. That's exactly what I was thinking. Look like a person. What the heck? Jonathan, what in the world? Probably the super what is that? Maldakians. Might be the super people, Maldakians. <laughs> yeah. I don't know nothing about no Maldakians. Be them. You'll know. You'll know when you see when you guys see them. Man, that's crazy looking. What could that be? I think we got Mel back in a set up in a suit. So my big suit. Can't shut out a space suit like the big one. Martin. Look like it's doing the same motion, whatever it is. Jonathan, what the heck is that, dude? It looks like a person almost. It almost looks like a person, right? It looks like a person almost. Yeah, exactly. Jonathan said it looks like a person, so it's there. But then when it turns, it doesn't. It's really odd. Your arms are moving. It look. I mean, it appears. Hmm. Okay. 
I see nothing. No more cameraman. What's going on? Or camera woman. Is it gone? for a second and I'll try to get it back. Yeah, you lost it. Definitely can't see it anymore. We've just been looking at blue sky. Yeah, I mean, I got it, I, but uh, I lost it and I'm getting it back. Is it? Hey, Yaz, what does it look like? I said it's another angle for someone else. Actually, I don't know. God, I can't even see it. What the hell is wrong with No, it's, it's straight up and down. <laughs> no, no, it has something on the side, Robert. We got a picture. Oh. Yeah? What's this, like some blue beam hologram technology? They practicing it, getting it ready? What is that? Might be the super people Maldakian. It's holding its position straight up and down. It's one straight up and down and staying that way. You see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You all know when you guys see them. It's like a. This looks like a person with his arm sticking out. see it, John? No, I don't see it at all. Oh, there it is, to the left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Did you point it somewhere? Right over here. Look at it. Just Angela. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. Give my left nut. <laughs> People have said everything. The mission man, the astronaut in a space suit. The super people. The Maldakians. Look. Oh, there it is. I got it. The Michelin man? I don't know. It looks like a person almost. It almost looks like a person, right? Yeah, it looks like a person almost. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I saw his hair. Is it moving? Yeah. I mean, it, it appears like a person, but it's an, it's an anomaly. I wonder what it's going to do. Though. It's about the time that old girl lost it. Oh, I can't believe I lost that. just dropped it's literally probably still downloading at my other account and i found something new if you want to check it out go over here if it is flat earther 2.0 and don't forget to follow me over there too because i'm starting to post a little bit more over there have a good day and enjoy it's a good one that's it what i got silicone costumes They probably got one of me and you in there. Somebody uh, ready to clone us. This is crazy. Where is this at? Or who leaked this? Even if this was like on a movie set, this would be weird.
months out. No vicious campaigning. No yard signs. Mm -hmm. No stickers. No crazy TV ads. No talks of debates. Conventions. Silence. Something's definitely up, y'all. We've all been through this before. Something is up. It is way too quiet. Something must have already been decided, in my opinion. Don't know what that is. This is just an opinion piece. Clearly, none of this is factual or stating anything to be permanent. But uh, something just ain't right. And I know that y'all know it too. What is going on? Mm. So if you put a- I'm gonna tell you what's going on. They didn't left the world behind, just like in a Netflix movie. You got to think about it, right? Has anyone ever played the game Fallout? If you haven't played the game Fallout, that's okay. There's a show. I think it's on Prime Video called Fallout. Fallout is based on the game. I think that's what's going to happen here soon. You get uh, movies like They Left the World Behind. You got Civil War. You get news like, you know, elite billionaires such as Mark Zuckerberg. And he's just one that we see, right? He's just one that we see, but he's building underground bunkers. He's just the one that we see. Remember that, that they put on the, the newspaper for us to see that, that. That's the billionaire. That's the elite. But there's probably so many more. They're building these underground bunkers because there's a plan to basically destroy the world in a way so that you know everything's destroyed everything's chaos up here on the surface they can do whatever they want in their underground bunkers make their technology as good as they want and then eventually come back up to the surface once all chaos is out here and act like gods that's my personal opinion up to a radio tower it would transmute a frequency or a sound wave through the plane hmm? this is absolutely crazy the sound is coming through the plant. Just watch the video. Are y'all seeing this? <laughs> this just goes to show you that radio sound waves can be transmitted through plants. Wow. I find that absolutely crazy that it didn't even need a speaker. So we are similar to plants in a way. What do you think these radio frequencies are doing to us? They're all around us, you can't get away from them. Your house is full of them. It's the same if you have a phone, if you have Wi-Fi, even if you have a stove or a microwave nowadays, they probably got Bluetooth on them as well. These signals, these radio frequencies are everywhere. Sound waves was emitted directly through the plant. So frequency waves can be transmitted through organic objects. And we learn something new every single day, ain't we? Now Rick Ross plane just crashed in Dallas with his jet. And as we know, hey, you just why I be careful what I say. I don't talk bad about nobody. I don't speak bad about nobody. I don't, you know, I don't pick at nobody. Because stuff come around so fast these days. Back in the day, it used to take a couple years, years for it to come back around. Now, do some shit. Watch how the next day you wake up, that bitch knocking on your front door. The next hour, the next week. Glorilla was picking that JT about a mug shot. A few days later, she got a DUI. Her mug shot plastered all over the internet. Drake, uh, Rick Ross was just picking that Drake about his plane. Saying he got a hand-me-down plane. Somebody just passed him down his plane when he signed to uh, Young Money. Saying, his, uh, saying be careful on that cargo. Picking that plane. Guess what? His plane crashed. Like I said in my last video, people don't understand the power of this magical realm that we're in, universal laws, uh, the power of the tongue, all that. But anyways, enough about that. Let's look at this. Hey, you see Ross Jet makes a crash landing in Dallas. Hey, at least it was just a crash landing, you know. He didn't actually crash. Crash. Like, the plane's still intact. So, uh, I'm glad Rick Ross is still in good health. Details are not. It said the exact cause of the crash has not been revealed. Photos from the landing were obtained by the ex formerly Twitter account Keep Six Sol Solid. These photos shot a jet with Rick Ross' name on it. This and third, so y'all can finish reading all that. You already know what to do, though. Follow for more, man. We go. Yeah, man, 
you gotta uh, watch what you're saying about people for real. Shit's getting weird. Part infinity. Understand. On April 13th, in the year 2029, on that date, April 13th, which, by the way, is a Friday, um, this asteroid named Apophis, named for the Egyptian god of death and darkness, we know for certain that Apophis, on Friday the 13th, April 2029, it's the size of the Rose Bowl. It'll get close enough to Earth that it will dip below Earth's communication satellites. It'll be the biggest, closest thing ever to come, known to come near Earth. The communication satellites are a geosynchronous orbit. It's about 23,000 miles up. This will come in at 18,000 miles. In the possible range of orbits it could have on that fateful day, there is an interval range where if it threads that keyhole, we call it a keyhole, it's a 600 mile, about 600 miles, several hundred mile range. If its orbit goes through that range, Earth's gravity will be just right. Or rather, just wrong. <laughs> so that it will alter its orbit so that it will hit us seven years later. Mm, that's crazy. I do have a question, though. Off the record. Closer. Closer. Too close. Back up. Okay. What's this going to do for interest rates and housing prices? Because me and my wife are looking to buy and we're looking at some of these houses and these interest rates and they're just out of this world. <laughs> no pun intended. Just trying to weigh my options, you know. Buy now or wait till after the meteor hits. Ain't Get in there and, uh, <laughs> steal a $2 million home for 300000 let us know. I'm asking for literally everybody. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, man. Like, the science and stuff, man, is wild. You know, I don't really mess with Neil deGrasse Tyson like that. But, you know, if there is something that's coming on Friday the 13th of 2029, it's probably not even what he says it is. You know, he's talking about it's dipping into Earth's gravity. Like, you're going to be able to see it, man. That's probably a spaceship. It's probably all type of stuff that's already dipped into Earth's atmosphere. And the atmosphere was just right. <laughs> did fake the moon landing that's a fact whether people realize it or not today with 54 year better rocket designs and computer designs the farthest that nasa can send a rocket with an astronaut into space is one thousandth the distance to the moon that's why they're sending mannequins to orbit the moon that can't even land because they would die from the radiation. Most people don't know, which is above the Earth, starting at about 1,000 miles and extending about 30,000 miles, is a huge band of radiation that astronauts would have to go through to the moon and through again back. The technology for an astronaut to go through it to the moon and back and survive has yet to be invented. They had one eighth of an inch of aluminum. Now, when you get a, a de <laughs> bro, they had Reynolds wrap, you know, the kind that you <laughs> you get at the barbecue, you put it over your plate, take it home. You know what I'm saying? That's literally what they went to space in with some Reynolds wrap, apparently. Until X-ray, they use one quarter inch lead. And so that's for one twenty fourth of a second. They would be in that for an hour to an hour and a half going to the moon and an hour to an hour and a half coming back. That's crazy, right? Come on, man. If you really still believe in that landing on that thing up there back then, come on, man. You got to you gotta figure life out at this point. Go conspiracy theory. There's a good one. Ooh, <laughs> this shit. is a good one for me. I ain't going to lie. Okay. All right. <laughs> white people y'all were created in a lab mm. yeah. by a nigga named yakub that's a real theory yeah that is and he was you know like finally white people that's the meme he was like creating white people because he was he was upset yeah he was mad like it gotta be something else to offset the rest of yeah okay and that's why the world is fucked up okay it was, he was being you know a gigantic pyramid has just popped up from nowhere under the lake michigan and scientists saw something spine tingling inside. Just last week, a bunch of researchers from Detroit decided to dive deep to explore what's under the lake. 
Little did they know they were about to hit the jackpot of weird. They gear up, and as they're sinking deeper, they start hearing these bizarre noises that nobody's ever heard before. Even though they've traveled around these parts loads of times, they shrugged it off and kept going. But then, out of the blue, they spotted this massive structure in chilling distance. So the crew hops out for a closer look, running tests on the thing, and here's the kicker. The material it's made of doesn't match anything on our planet. It's like some alien architect came by and left us a little souvenir. They're all freaking out because this is uncharted territory. Then, they head inside and find something that sends chills down their spine. A huge sea eel stood right in front of them. If you want to see the footage, click on share, more, and then photos. Hmm. So, things like that, I always question those because... That's like some AI stuff that somebody wrote out and had AI voices talk over it and create the video as well. I don't know if you guys are too familiar with that, but you could do all of that on CapCut. So I don't really know how, you know, I take it with a grain of salt. There are people living There's inside of the Earth. It's true. New information from NASA states that there is a large ocean beneath the Earth's crust after scientists detected movement below the surface. Around 500 miles below, a large supply of water has been found stored in a rock named Ringwoodite. But it gets even crazier. Scientists say that this rock is so huge that it contains three times the amount of water on the Earth's surface. This causes many to believe that there is more down there than we originally thought. Possibly even civilization. Wait a minute now. Again, like... They said there's a rock that contains three times the amount of water on the entire surface. I don't even think they know how much water is on the surface, for one. And two, how are they going to measure that, this huge rock? While the news of this discovery was over ten years ago, it was never talked about. Is the government hiding this information from us? What do you think? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research on that. I do believe that there's layers to this world that we have and there's, there might be people living on them layers down there you know i don't know how far the rabbit hole goes you know who knows since i posted that video about what the house of representatives is trying to do concerning making bibles illegal and making it a crime to be a christian it has been very heavy on ain't that, ain't that crazy you know what i'm saying like they come here to this land waving a bible and a sword Passing Bibles around, saying you got to be Christian, da-da-da. Now, fast forward to, to, to uh, today's time. They're trying to ban the, uh, the Bible. They don't even want you to read it. I thought that was the whole reason for y'all coming here in the first place, wasn't it? Join me because it's something that needs to be taken serious. If Jesus is not real, if the word of God is not real, why is these things happening? Why is the House of Representatives trying to take away the Bible? Why are they trying to take out parts of the Bible? These are things that we need to ask ourselves. The Lord said in his word, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. This generation that we live in today, they are taking God out of everything. They want nothing to do with God. The Lord told me today that they are preparing the way for the beast. Everything that the Lord spoke about in the book of Revelation is unfolding. Jesus is real. And he lives today. He's the king of kings and he's the Lord of lords. The Bible tells us that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. So bear with me for a second, right? Back to, you know, what I said earlier about the show Fallout, right? And these underground tunnels. This also can play into the Bible being banned, right? If you ban the Bible, you get rid of God. You get rid of, you know, this religion stuff and you basically create chaos and demonic worship and all that stuff going on because that's really what's going on right now. You, you make everyone believe in that and that's all they see. Right. So when a time does come for a reset and these people go underground and they take their Bibles and their religions and everything that they know with them and it's all chaos up here. Right. When they come back out from underground with these Bibles and these this knowledge that people don't have. They're going to try to control everybody with that. There's another movie about that. It's with uh, the Book of Eli. 
you gotta think about that right the book of eli it was just chaos it was like mad max and then this blind man has this bible written in braille and everyone wants to get the bible why because it creates order what do you think is going to happen if this is a true reset right if there has been a history of resets in this world and i believe that there has been because nothing lines up then the powers that be the ones with the most money are going to do their best to maintain that control so when things are all done they want to come back out on top control i don't know i could be reaching sorry for the small rant but yeah oh what in the world is going on with the weather these are the storms since april 25th and how they've gone over do you notice anything funny that one of the models here, is even posting this which could possibly happen but again i want you to notice it all of these storms are starting in the same place mm -hmm. and they go the same diagonal way past the great lakes up there something else took that same exact path mm, as well was it? as all the storms from a month before that path my friend is the eclipse path all week next week we're gonna have ridiculously crazy storms and they all go the same way what if this trend that we're seeing in the middle of america oklahoma nebraska iowa etc what if this trend continues why is it all the models are showing it is going to continue even the mayor of Oklahoma said he had not seen that much destruction. And then we have some future models popping out like this. That is unheard of, you guys. There is some kind of energetic symbolism mm -hmm. based on where all these storms are going. And then we're having all these warnings from like Nostradamus and other people about something potentially happening in California. And not only in the weather, ever since the 8th, we've had massive breaks in the Earth's resonance from the Schumann frequency. Mm. And regardless what forecast you're looking at, you see a really, really, really powerful, odd anomaly storm forming and originating the same exact place as the others and going the same exact way as the others. 2024 has a lot in store. <sighs> All these volcanoes. In the last week or two, we've had major floods in Saudi Arabia, China, Brazil, and Texas everywhere. And all these floods are any indication, I say, we're in trouble. I swear, man. Listen, to all my flat earthers, I know y'all know about the, the uh, mud floods, right? Y'all know the theory of mud floods. What do you think's about to happen? I feel like we're at that point, you know. Korea used to be spelled C-O-R-E-A. Then Japan tell England Korea spelled with a K so that Korea come after Japan in the English dictionary. That's your most messed up conspiracy theory yet. I'm not a conspiracy theory, conspiracy truth. Conspiracy truth. Hey, you guys got those uh, little batteries for watches? Oh, yeah. I just want one. They come in too. That's how they get you. It's a conspiracy. Conspiracy? They sell you two watch batteries, but you only got one watch. 12 wieners, 8 buns. Mm. I know. Huh. This is what I'm talking. Hmm? Printer's cheap, but the ink will kill you. Mm. Phone is free, but the plan will get you. Mm. Yeah, all those drinks in your fridge, owned by one company, and that company owns all the other companies. But it doesn't matter because companies are an illusion. Mm. So we're all looking over here when we should be looking over here. Which is where the reptilian aliens are coming from when they return to harvest the New World Order. Remember, pay attention. Man, I'm not trying to get harvested by no reptilian aliens, y'all. But I got a whole video on this. I'm going to have to post a clip. That would be crazy. Those conspiracy theories, I know they're, they're, they are just theories. But isn't everything a scientist starts off talking about a theory? Yeah, they have to let us know first before they can do anything to us. That's how God laid it out for these little de de demon motherfuckers to fuck with us. They can't fuck with us without letting us know that they're about to fuck with us. Remember Men in Black? They read the, the National Enquirer for the real news, and they didn't watch the, the fake news because that ain't the news. They tell the truth in them, them, them little rags, but everybody thinks it's fake. Mm -hmm. Remember the TV show Fantasy Island? It's Epstein Island, man. Mm. See, that, that little Mexican at the beginning? 
That's a little boy fantasy. Mm. That's why we said, the plane, the plane. The plane, the plane. I be thinking. Look at the, uh, uh, all the Simpson episodes, like the one when they killed Kobe in the helicopter. See? You think that's a coincidence? No. They have to let us know what they're going to do. Will Smith in that, uh, that gay scene in Six Degrees of Separation. Y'all acting surprised. <laughs> They've been telling us. They've been telling us for a long time. Listen, if anybody watches The Simpsons, because I don't really watch The Simpsons like that no more, but if they have anything about YouTube reactors, please let me know so I can get out the way. Say the weird thing. Say the weird thing. Mm. Okay, I'm going to just say it. Chicken used to bleed. Mm. Ask your mama, ask your grandma. Chicken used to bleed. When you baked it, when you fried it, the blood used to come up out of the chicken. Sometime between, I don't know, 2018, don't quote me. Quote me, don't quote me. Sometime between 2018 and now, they took out the real chicken and gave us, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna show y'all since I'm right here. Where's the blood? Where's the blood? Oh, look, we got a little bit right here. I don't know what we've been eating, but we all know that there's not nearly enough chickens to accommodate human needs at, at all. Where's the blood, y'all? Where's the blood? Yeah, man, I feel like these are GMO chickens we be eating. It's getting weird. Part infinity. Yet tonight, a former Houston ISD teacher is arrested in Baltimore in a bizarre case where he's accused of retaliating against the school principal there. Dazon Darian is the athletic director at the school. He's accused of using AI to fabricate an audio clip using the principal's voice to make racist and anti-Semitic comments. That clip was then widely shared earlier this year and the principal was removed from the school. But investigators saying today, Darian created the clip to frame the principal who was investigating him for misappropriating school funds. Investigators say Darian was arrested at the airport today while trying to board a flight to Houston. He's facing several charges. As for the principal, school officials say they'll talk to him to see if he'll return to school next year. You want me to return where? <laughs> where would you like me to return? The school slash school district? That had a faculty member use AI to dub my voice to say some racist stuff. And then I told y'all it wasn't me, but you fired me anyways without doing due diligence. You want me to come back to that? No. In fact, everybody's getting sued. I'm suing the city, the school, the school district, some of these faculty members that were throwing shade in the hallway. I'm suing y'all. I'm suing the people that are still making videos online with that fake AI voice. Y'all definitely getting sued. I might even sue some of these kids. Okay, maybe not the kids. <laughs> But you get what I'm saying. Everybody's got to get it at that point. But here's the crazy part. Dude wasn't even charged for any of the AI stuff. He was charged for like disrupting school attendance or some lesser charge or something like that, right? Because right now under the law, it's not illegal or it's only illegal to impersonate a government official mm -hmm. or a business entity. I swear. Like me and you ain't protected currently. Now the FTC, I think, is trying to change that, implement something that protects all of us. Listen, apurate, por favor. <laughs> Please hurry and pass some laws and put in place for the rest of us because, listen, the way things are going right now, it doesn't matter if you're telling the truth. Nobody cares. It's whoever's first. If somebody comes first with a lie, people are going to believe the lie. And even when you get vindicated, nobody cares. Really we got to get some protections in place ASAP because we're moving fast, y'all. We're moving super fast. Ain't no protections. My only protections is get up off the internet. You know, don't have your face and your voice on there. But who's going to do that? Anyone could be copied at this point. Is anybody else literally just going through the motions of life at this point? Man. I feel like I'm just holding on until something disastrous happens. Like, we all know something's going to happen. We just don't know what and when. But we all know something, something going to happen. And at this point, um retirement and all that baby that's a fallacy that is a delusion mm -hmm. not saying it's impossible i'm saying it's a delusion i'm seeing so many videos and i look at job postings and the amount of money they're offering should be illegal it should be illegal 
And the craziest part is they will not raise their pay scale, knowing that people cannot live off that. So are they expecting people to take slave wages and then live in their car on top of that and not be able to have a life? People are just like, yeah, no, I'd rather not work, live in my car and be free. And to be honest with you, I would do the same thing. If companies or jobs were offering hardly nothing to work, I just wouldn't work. I'd just be like, either give me my unemployment or I, you know what? I'll uh, borrow money or I'll do odd jobs or little this and little that. I'd rather not work so I could at least have, you know, my freedom in my life. <laughs> um, but honestly, I, I just don't get it. You know, honestly, I feel like it's never been to a point to where companies are literally going to pay you good money. No, the companies are trying to get rich. This is capitalism. And it's just very bad right now because something else is in play. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough out there. You know, if you're going to work for somebody else, you're technically a slave. Um, if you think about it, you have to kind of work for yourself to not be a slave. So your slave master can pay you what they want to. It's just a messed up situation, you know, and it's tough out here for a lot of people. Ah, ah, man. They're building and building. I don't know where you guys live, but where I live in Texas, when I tell you they are building and building and building, and I'm sitting up here looking like, why do they keep building knowing that people cannot afford and do not qualify to live in these apartment buildings and these houses? Nobody's buying a house right now, unless you're buying straight out cash. The only people buying houses or corporations. But who the heck is buying houses? And even the rent is astronomical. And and it boggles my mind because I, I genuinely don't understand why they would continue to build and build and build and have all these empty buildings and empty houses sitting. But no, for real. At this point, y'all, enjoy every day. Enjoy these everyday luxuries because I have a very strong feeling that by 2025, luxuries will no longer exist these nice little luxury big hot fine dining restaurants is going to be for the elite and the elite only on a more Thanks. serious note america i need you guys to pray for justin bieber I, i'll say it again put this man in your prayers because they're saying that he has been uh, tweeting out some pretty uh ominous pictures of him crying check this out so we've seen this all too many times. Hmm. Whenever the sky falls in Hollywood, right? And this man right here being a victim because they're saying that he is tweeting out these pictures of him sad and, and, and crying because they're saying it has to do something with the Diddy allegations and this all this um, evidence coming before the world. So he's pretty saddened by this this stuff coming out and we've seen this all too many times, but I, we want to pray for Justin Bieber because this has nothing to do with the type of person you are. You are a victim. So we think nothing bad of you. We are we are we want the predators. So peace and love and, and pray for Justin Bieber, man, because we, we've seen this all too many times where the sky falls and individuals feel like they're just they don't, they, they, they don't want to, you know. They don't want to operate anymore because of the embarrassment and the, and the things that they feel the world will think about them because of, of the news coming out. So pray for Justin Bieber. Peace and love and deuces. I need y'all to take this down right here and jot it down in your memory because I'm about to remove the veil from over your eyes on a few different things real quick. All right. So now in the Bible, the devil is the papacy. The great whore is the Catholic Church. The beast that came up out of the wilderness with two horns that spoke like a lamb but is really a dragon is the United States government. Mm. The bear, that's Russia. The red dragon, that's China. Okay? Now look at this from up above. Like you're looking over a world map and you see Ethiopia being God's throne. You see how all these countries, these living beasts, these living government systems are around God's throne. 
And just read the story of Haley Selassie and the throne of David, and you'll see how all these beasts attack the throne. Yo, good points right there. I gotta look into it now. Listen. Do you know the world is watching us? Yeah. Do you, do you, know, you, know the, you know the world is watching America, right? Yeah. They talking shit too. Oh man, they, they looking because, you know, America has been the bully of the world. Yeah. For years, been the bully. Using her military might to oppress and suppress. You're talking about over 700 military bases that are currently occupying different nations all over the world. And they're looking like, yo, men, your men are women, huh? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, hey, look, I'm telling you right now, y'all got to look at it from a military type of perspective. Yeah. You look at these foreign nations who've been waiting for some get back. Mm -hmm. You invaded my nation. You killed my, my, my women, my children. You bombed us for no reason. Literally, 20 years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. So all your men now, they, they women, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, just right okay these, all right so they women mm -hmm. oh. oh so you're pushing not to make your men stronger but to now say hey you you can be a woman if you want boom boom okay so we're pushing the gay stuff pushing oh okay mm, the number one priority is lgbt rights <laughs> okay cool like i'm telling you yeah. they look at and they are they are fortifying they they exercise they're working out hard they're training because they're you waiting like for that point where they are able to then become the big dog themselves you're talking about china look i seen the video in china the kids was going crazy they had guns on the table right this isn't like a classroom setting military stuff with blindfolds on and they taking the gun apart and putting it back together and i say yo that's what they're learning in china what are we learning here you do you know about bricks yeah mm -hmm. please okay they're, they're not these nations are not playing yeah they're not playing and they said oh wow america your priority is to have men chop off their penises and testicles wow good keep going right. mm -hmm. keep going <laughs> right i'm so serious i'm looking like i don't know about y'all but i'm cool with my masculinity i'm gonna keep working out and exercising because now it's a it's a war type of environment and atmosphere that's brewing so while everybody's pushing you know, sex this and trans this and blah, 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 emotion. I'm, I feel like this and all that insanity. Other nations is looking like y'all crazy. So we about to go ahead and get ready. Mm -hmm. Right. To, to be to be the big dog now. Mm -hmm. um, and I know, again, we, we went around a lot. Y'all <laughs> like think about it. Right. The, the powers that be here in America probably realize that they time running out. You know, they can only run this month for so long. So they're going to delegate it to somebody else. That's why they're sending all our money to other countries. Their main concern, I don't even want to say the name, it's over there. There's a lot of uh, stuff going on between these two places, you know. One of them starts with the I, but that's their main concern, is that place that starts with an I over there. They don't really care about this no more, so whoever else comes in and controls it, so be it. As long as all the money's gone and the resources are gone and America is just like, they don't really care. This preacher right here, watch this. You can give the whole world a shot, but you still got people starving in nothing. Yeah, see, ain't nobody saying nothing. Oh, you gotta take this shot. You better take it. It's to save your life, and it's free. We giving it free because it's to save everybody's life. If it's to save life, why ain't chemotherapy free? Mm. Why ain't insulin free? If it's to save everybody's life. So it's to save my life? But you got people dying of malnutrition? And we can't plant a garden over there, but we can send shots everywhere around the world? Somebody better open their eyes! Yeah, man, you gotta realize the type of world we living in. Bro, almost had me say, yes, sir! Yes, sir! <laughs> First, it was the white buffalo. Now, it is the white raven, y'all. Check this out. This is big news, y'all. Big white changes raven. are soon to come to Earth, as you are seeing right now with all the weather anomalies. But here's the white raven. It was caught in Anchorage, Alaska, y'all. Here it is over here, just chilling on the tree, you know, speaking its truth, y'all. So, 
do you know what this means? But for some of you that didn't know, the raven was originally white, but was turned black from the smoke when it brought fire to man. This is speaking metaphorically because ravens or birds in general are messengers of the spirit realm. This is why we indigenous people always kept feathers around us because birds are directly tied to the magnetic field of the earth, right? And they would always let us know when big changes are coming. It is said that the white raven will return when humans become spiritual again. Again, birds are messengers of the spirit world. We will see a white raven and that's when we know that humanity as a whole is shifting towards one piece. But not only did we see a white raven yet, y'all, two days ago, a white moose was spotted in Canada. Check this out. Here it is, y'all. Oh, wow. The real white moose spotted in Canada. Okay. Look at this, y'all. Big changes are coming to earth and I'm gonna tell you why it says right here in the Anisha Bay seven fire prophecies when animals have a white one born onto them this signifies that great big changes and big shifts are to come onto the planet white buffalo check white raven check white rare moose check so what other white animals are we waiting on y'all and then all the changes all the catastrophes that's happening around the planet right now y'all it speaks for itself we are in prophecy and we are becoming more spiritual that's why the planet is changing we don't want to live in a world anymore where we are literally living to die mm. working to die literally this is the end of the era and i'm stamping it y'all menu gate have you heard of that menu gate this man his name is cody lives in atlanta he walked out of his apartment one day and noticed every single door in his hallway had a chinese menu in the doorway three days later still there in every doorway all of them. And he's like, what in the world? Mm -hmm. It's like three days. Everyone in my hall has not opened their door. And then it was like five days still there. And he's like, this is weird. So that he went down weird. to the parking garage and looked at the cars. And the majority of the cars in the parking garage were covered in dust. And he's like, that's weird. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, okay, this is like freaking me out a little bit. Went through his whole apartment building. Couldn't find a fire alarm. Finally, like went down like one weird hallway or whatever. Found one. Pulls it. And supposedly there's supposed to be 800 people living in this apartment building no one came out he went out into his local little nook where his apartment was mm -hmm. and every like coffee shop and place that he went to there was always one man in there wearing a suit talking on the phone he said these men were all saying the same thing into the phone and he's just like am i living in a simulation mm -hmm. what is this yeah. now that's strange y'all Somebody tell me what's going on in Texas Because not only do we have storms But there was a 30 foot deep sinkhole That just popped up In the middle of the road And yes you heard that right A 30 foot deep sinkhole And then we have down there in Houston Mass flooding that's happened We even have whole semi trucks That's going straight underwater We literally have whole neighborhoods That's the side of Texas That's underwater right now And I wasn't even going to make the video but I just kept seeing stuff that's happening in Texas and my people kept telling me, bro, wisdom, something is going on in Texas right now. And then we have storm systems that literally look like God put his thumbprint on Texas, like a whole fingerprint that popped up on Texas. Look at this right here, bro. I have never seen nothing like this ever in my life. Maybe I'm tripping, but I've never seen nothing like that. Yo, do y'all remember? Okay, it was my last video. About the Simpsons, how they predict everything, and it was God up here brushing stuff with a little vacuum cleaner underneath. Oh my gosh, y'all gotta see that one. Then they tell me it's earthquakes, mosquitoes going crazy out there. But you know, maybe I'm tripping. Y'all let me know in the comments. Am I tripping? Because what's going on in Texas right now? Yeah, man, I don't think you're tripping, bro. It's a lot of strange stuff going on in the world right now, not just Texas, but everywhere anywhere even here in my own town they're talking about tornadoes and stuff today i'm like tornadoes why we don't even have those so it's just crazy weather all over the place yeah but yeah these are some of the most strange and bizarre tiktoks that are out there if you like the content don't forget to subscribe turn your notification bells on and until next time youtube peace